Hey guys, John here. So I'm going to talk about the current state of affairs that we are dealing with right now and how that's going to change how I move forward with my investment strategy. This is something that I really want to talk about because the stock market is crashing and everybody seems to be a financial expert all of a sudden. Okay, so if you're part of the financial community, you probably have heard that now is like the perfect time to buy because all of the stocks are low. While I'm not saying that's a bad idea, and in fact, that's probably a good idea, you have to look at where you are financially. Like, don't just follow what everyone else is doing just because they're saying it. To be honest, nobody knows what the stock market is gonna do. The stock market could drop even further. Like, we literally do not know. And I'm seeing people get super greedy. Like, they're selling their houses and taking out loans and taking money out of their emergency fund just so that they can buy more stocks on clearance. But again, guys, there's a risk involved. And I think it's wild that someone would literally like sell their house just so that they would have more money to invest in the stock market. In a time of instability, why would you make your life more unstable? Literally at this time, we need to be striving for stability. We don't know what's gonna happen. This could be like 2008's financial crisis. Do you guys remember what happened in the 2008 financial crisis? Tons of people lost their jobs, tons of people lost their homes, people couldn't get another job. If you are going to invest in the stock market and buy stocks while they're low, which I'm not saying that's a bad idea at all, that's actually a really good idea, go for it. Just be sure that you're not creating an unstable situation for yourself. Don't get greedy, guys. People are rejoicing that the stock market is crashing because all of the stocks are low. Guys, that's not a good thing. Businesses are closing, schools are closing. We don't know the consequence of what happens when people are not working, guys. That's literally what happens in a recession and you need to be prepared for it. If you guys have been following my channel, you would know that the first two financial goals that I had for 2020 were one, pay off credit card debt, which I did, and two, to max out my Roth IRA for 2019 before April 15th. Now, in order to max out my Roth IRA for 2019, uh, I would have to contribute $4,800. Now, I already saved $4,000 and I had two more paychecks before April 15th. So I was well on the way to hitting that goal and I was going to make a video explaining to you guys, like, yeah, I did it, I hit the goal. But with the current state of affairs, with the thing going around, and I can't even say the thing because my video will get demonetized if it ever gets monetized. With the current state of affairs, I am choosing to prioritize having a stronger emergency fund. So with the $4,000 that I saved up as I was working towards that goal for my Roth, I took $1,000 and I put that in the Roth IRA and the rest of it is going straight into my emergency fund, guys. Now I have a four month emergency fund, which makes me feel infinitely more comfortable. So I think that the thing I'm trying to say to you guys is don't do something that makes you uncomfortable and creates a life of instability in a time of instability, okay guys? If you have that six month emergency fund and you have disposable income and you have really good job security, by all means, invest in the stock market. I still think that it's a smart idea to do dollar cost averaging rather than just putting a lump sum in the stock market because we don't know what's gonna happen with the stock market yet, guys. We really don't. But again, this video is just my two cents. Now, once I hit that six month emergency fund, I'll probably be more aggressive with buying stocks while they're low. But the reason I want to strengthen my emergency fund is this, I work in healthcare. Therefore, I'm already high risk of getting exposed to whatever. If you test positive for the coronavirus, you are going to be quarantined for 14 days. These 14 days, we can't take sick days for guys. And I don't think that people realize that, but you can't take sick days. We have to take PTO or death. Just kidding guys, but seriously though, like we can only take PTO or it's unpaid time, which means I have to factor in if I get the thing, what if I go two weeks without pay? And that is the reason why I only put $1,000 into my Roth for 2019 and I'm focusing right now on my emergency fund before I'm going to start investing in the stock market and taking advantage of all of these low stocks. So guys, please don't just follow what everyone else is doing if it doesn't match your financial situation, okay? I'm sure people with tons of disposable income are rejoicing because all of the stocks are low, but if you're just like an average guy like me, 
please prioritize yourself and make it through this ordeal, okay? Like, I just want people to be safe, to be healthy, and just make smart financial decisions, guys. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna hit my second goal, but I think that I'm making the right decision based on the current state of affairs that we're dealing with right now. All right, guys, thank you for watching my third video this week. This video was honestly more of a rant, if anything, but honestly, it's something that I needed to get off my chest. Stay healthy, guys, make smart decisions, and do what's best for you.